Well, for all of you who, are, who adore Tom Brady, I have a special image for you. I brought Tom Brady to Lincoln City. <laughs> Is that kind of like the Bernie meme? You're just bringing him in there? <laughs> yes. He appeared in the sunset tonight. Yes. <laughs> I kind of want to see Mahomes, though, to balance it out. So let's bring him in later. He, this is my um, husband's crush right there, Tom oh, Brady. Boy. I can't compete with Tom Brady. 42 <laughs> degrees right now, Lincoln City. Okay, as we look at radar right now, we are seeing mostly cloudy skies, but little in the way of precipitation. Some light flurries happening for you just outside of Sandy into the western slopes here. As you head over to Manzanita and Tillamook, over the coast range, you're getting some light snow also right around that 1500 foot mark. Uh, current temperatures here, certainly in the valley, we're not supporting snow. It's too warm. We're in the low 40s right now, up and down I-5. Over to Pacific City, we have 42 degrees, 38 for you, the Dells, Pendleton at 30, Central Oregon. We're in the low to mid 20s right now. So let's talk about the forecast and what we're expecting because tomorrow is a transition day over to colder air and the potential to once again see some of those snowflakes falling near the valley floor. But will they stick? Let's talk about that. As we get on through tonight, a few isolated showers coming up right across southwest Washington. So I imagine right around 500 feet to 1,000 feet. Right in there, through Clark County and Cowlitz County, you might get a quick little snowflake coming through. Very briefly, moves on pretty quickly by the time we get to tomorrow midday. Here's the part that is critical. We have an easterly flow going right there through the gorge. That's pulling all that cold air from the east, dragging it through the gorge and transporting it right over the valley floor, right around Portland and Vancouver. Now, can we keep this easterly flow going? And will we be cold enough in the first place? It's nice to get a, a cold transport of air, but will it be cold enough? Well, as you can see in model depictions at this point, it's painting more of a rainy picture up and down I-5. However, it's all about microclimates, right? So it depends on your elevation and it also depends on your proximity to the gorge. And it also depends on if we get a little impulse, a little burst of energy coming through, because with some of those heavier showers, you could see what was rain fall as snow instead. But getting it to stick to the ground, you still need to be cold enough. Now we will be closely watching the five o'clock hour. At this point, we're looking at some of those heavier showers to come into the picture. Notice all the way down to Salem, it's just a rainy picture up and down I-5. Certainly for the Cascades and the Gorge, you're seeing snow there. Out towards Pendleton, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to see some of that precipitation meet your way. This is 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So watch the coast range. You're still getting hammered with snow. Also for the Gorge, the western slopes right around 1,000 feet. Here we go, 8 o'clock. Now you can see the snow, the colder air is favoring uh, the hills in Kellett's County, portions of Clark County, again, right around that 1500 to 1000 foot mark. I think for the West Hills at best, you see a little bit of a rain snow mix, but getting anything to accumulate is going to take everything to fall in place just perfectly. As we get to Wednesday, Wednesday, we transition from a dry day to a little bit of rain for the late evening. Other than that, Pretty much every day this week, we're going to see a chance of rain in the mix. Talking about your snow totals, here are some potentials. You can see we're seeing a bunch of zeros for you right around Portland and Vancouver. But as you head into the hillsides, potentially seeing some higher totals, about a quarter of an inch to maybe a half inch at best, and perhaps something closer to about two to three inches for us throughout the gorge. Seven day forecast looks like this. Temperatures remain in the mid to upper 40s, seeing more rain every single day for the next seven days. It's a soaker. All right.